Hi everybody, David Thompson here from Aviva. Uh, I want to talk about, um, I'm going to make a series of videos about digitalization of the shipping industry. Um, it's something that I'm personally learning about at my work at Aviva. We recently acquired uh, OSI Soft, which is a very famous company for creating um, operational data management software. Um, amongst other things, you use the software to record what's going on on board your vessel, train, refinery, power plant, you name it. Um, we store essentially operational data, time series operational data. Uh, so what has happened and when. Um, and of course, this is the basis of a lot of digital transformation or digitization programs from customers around the world. So I wanted to create a very simple video to talk about um, the basics of a fundamental building block of digitalization in the marine industry. So up on my screen, you can see my browser. I've got something up which is called a noon report. So a noon report is a, an age old tradition by seafarers to record what is going on on board a vessel and to essentially uh, in the past that was stored in the ship's log um, you know sailors still do a version of this at regular intervals around the day um, but in more recent times this information was radioed or sent by satellite or some kind of communications message back to the shore where they could start to build up um, patterns of uh, operational performance. So if you can imagine a ship crossing the Atlantic takes um, what's that, four or five days these days, something like that, um, you're going to get four data points if you send at noon every day a report. So you can see here there's a ship name, a voyage number, date, uh, longitude, latitude, speed, average speed, RPM, wind direction, so some navigational information, distance to go, and then some key parameters here about what's left in the tanks. Um, and I've got something running here. Um, it's a game called Stormworks, but it actually essentially allows me to simulate small vessels. So you can see here we've got a small, this is actually a training vessel. And I'm going to talk about what the crew would do to record this noon report. So I think it's coming up for noon in the game time. In fact, we probably missed it. Um, so here's your bridge, um, 11.54, so it's coming up for noon. And basically, ships have a variety of different readouts on board the vessel. So here's our weather station. If I move around over here, here's our navigation station. Uh, we've got a waypoint in, actually, which we can see to the southwest. So we're this blue dot. We're heading this way. And if we turn a bit, we'll go onto that waypoint. We've actually got things here, ATA, I think this might be in seconds <laughs> and a distance to waypoint in meters, so not really the, the values that you would typically have here. But this ship is a sort of fully operational vessel you can see here with all, many of the parameters that you'd expect to see on an operating vessel. So noon report literally would be the crew members taking a piece of paper or these days perhaps taking an application and uh, going up to the various devices. So they would take the location. Um, so I can't remember how we do this, but we can get it from the map. We've got our X and Y, let's see, center on player. So we've got our X and Y location. In real life, that would be a longitude and latitude. You would take distance to waypoint, uh, ETA to waypoint as well, write that down on a piece of paper or an iPad these days. And you would go over, note down this weather information. So this is a small weather station, or it could be something sent by satellite giving you a forecast as well. Uh, you would perhaps take down the fuel consumption information here. So you can see here uh, the fuel consumption per 100 kilometers, fuel consumption per hour, Okay, minutes, probably not quite right. Um, this, These are not obviously real values. This is a game here, but just to demonstrate the point, our clock is not working, <laughs> I realize now. Um, but essentially, that is what you would do um, to take it in report. You would go outside. You would also look at the weather, look at the sea state. You would, um, in a more advanced version of the noon report, you would possibly go 
downstairs, so excuse my jerky motion here. Um, and you might take oil levels um, and variety of kinds of things. So just to show you here that we've got actually an engine room space down here. And you would essentially visually take down this information. So here's our electrical um, ship's engine. So I just need to duck down to get through here. We actually have a very nice here uh, engine control room, a mini one. So we can see here the diesel, you would take a note of that. You would maybe take a note of some of these uh, pressures of the key pumps the RPMs of your engines there, so four diesel generators, as you can see aboard this diesel electric. Um, and as you can see, you know, the crew would need to move around, um, which is not a bad thing to do the sort of visual check. And they would record this information from these variety of different devices on board the vessel. So the point I wanted to make is that that noon report for many vessel operators is still today the de facto way of recording for the ship owner what, or the operator, management company, what is going on on board the vessel. And they get that at a frequency of once every 24 hours. Um, as you can see here, there are a lot of things generating information on board this vessel, the engines, the pump, the fluid systems, everything's generating information. Um, and of course, it doesn't take too much imagination to imagine how this data could be recorded on some kind of data recording device. And this is exactly what the first building block of digitalization is for the shipping industry, is to put essentially what's sometimes called an IoT box on board the vessel or a data collector that will simply grab the data from all of these different devices which are generating information and put it into a data historian, essentially. Um, so again, everything that's got a readout here is, is getting a signal from some kind of sensor or combination of sensor. And the concept of digitalization, the first building block is to put a box on board the vessel, perhaps up on the bridge, that connects to all of these different systems and grabs that data. So today, of course, that probably means putting in a cable maybe onto your bridge system. Uh, so in more modern vessels, all of this stuff will be on your glass screen cockpit. This is a more traditional vessel. Um, and you would just be putting that data into your data historian. Um, so immediately you can see that this is gonna have massive impact. So first of all, you can collect this data at any frequency which you want, essentially. So you could collect it at um, every five seconds, five times a second. Um, and that is already going to make a big difference. So if you imagine you're getting the data once per day and then you go to getting the data once every five seconds, you're going to just have a lot more data. Um, I'm also learning that even if you're collecting at uh, very high frequencies, typically what happens is the data which gets put on this data collector box gets sent back to the shore, um, sort of averaged out. So you take the value every five seconds, but you average it and you send perhaps, um, I don't know, every minute or something like that, the average across a minute back to, sh back to shore or at least collect it and then you do a data dump to, to avoid having just simply way too much data. Uh, but the point is the data collector on board is collecting all of this data for uh, a variety of different reasons. So this information, of course, could be used by the ship owner to understand the performance of the vessel. Um, so there's a couple of stories which we're learning about, um, you know, is, is the vessel being operated properly? Is the crew starting the engine and warming it up as they should be? How does the fuel consumption change? with weather. So this is a simulation, of course, that's been some bigger winds and therefore waves. Um, how does the fuel consumption change when the vessel is, is towing something, when it's being used for its, its purpose? So these are all things which affect um, how a vessel operates. And it's on all of the data, which is effectively 
on the sensors on board the vessel can be sent back to shore. So going from the noon report to something which you collect on a, on a, on a data collector on some kind of historian is the first step of digitalization in the marine industry. That's all from me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be making more videos. I'll be using Stormworks um, as my platform to sort of uh, help um, educate. And um, my next project, which I'm still looking for collaborators for, is to actually write a data collector for this application and start to grab some graphs from the Stormworks application and spit it out into ultimately the Pi system. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.